welcome to the 47th episode of Recluse Horror. This is a daily horror movie review podcast. Uh, So just a little background on the project. Um, Back 314 days ago, on my birthday, I decided I wanted to watch and review a horror movie every single day. Uh, I have done so for the past, like I said, 314 days. Um, Although only the last... 47 have been podcasts. Uh, Before that, it was text reviews. So each episode, I talk about two movies, uh, the first of which is one that I've watched that very night, and the second is one that I've reviewed previously in text, uh, where I just go over um, any impressions that I have left, uh, aided, of course, by the text text review. Uh, So With me again today is Sam. Hey. Are you as tired as I am, Sam? No, I'm more tired than you. You're more tired or? Always. Even though, even though? Yes. Even though? Yes. Even though? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna do this first review, and I may decide not even to do a second review, so you're gonna have to just play this whole episode by ear, I think. Um... The the first the first movie that that we want to talk about and possibly the only movie we want to talk about is another short film. Uh, it's called Vanilla Cake from 2016, and um, it's on the it's on Crystal Pastis, I think is what how you would say that. Uh, it's on her YouTube account. Um, uh, she's the director and writer. Uh, Sam, how did you like uh, Vanilla Cake? Uh, I liked it. Yeah? I thought it was alright. Yeah. Um, anything particularly that stood out to you, or? Um, I liked the way it was shot. Um. Oh, the, sh- yeah, the film, the cinematography I liked, I liked was really the, good. I liked the color of the movie. Mm-hmm. Was really good, the, yeah. the shades they used. Um, mm-hmm. the acting was pretty good, too. Yes. Um, I really believed everything. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it was just in general well put together. It wasn't like too great of a story. Yeah, that's um, where that's where my thing was. It uh, it was very bad. Simple. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it's only six minutes. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't bad. It was just it was just simple. It was nice that it was essentially a whole story too. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like oh, this is like a trailer to something, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it felt like that was mostly what they wanted to get across, and right if they did make. Uh, actual movie, mm-hmm. they kind of used a lot of the stuff yeah. <laughs> that they would be using in the movie. Right. So it didn't seem like like one of those ones that's let's make let's make a, a trailer for a movie that we're going to make or right. a section of the movie. Yeah. It's like, these. this is the idea I have. I'm going to use all the ideas mm-hmm. in the six minutes and that will be the short film. And right. They're a lot more enjoyable in that way. Uh, so Vanilla Cake is about a kid named Alex on his 16th birthday, and, um, yeah, I don't know, he wanted, he wanted a chocolate cake and he got a vanilla cake. Yeah, that's, it's, I, I actually liked it, I, I guess I probably liked it more than you. I think you did, yeah. Like. Yeah. Um, I didn't, I didn't dislike it, I just thought, like, I could have used a little bit more on the, the story. I think the way it played out and how they did it was good. Um, I, I just think it, I wanted something a little more. I wanted some deeper thing and that's just not what this movie is. And that's fine. Um, it just wasn't, um, I, I, I did like it. I thought the filming was incredible every time they would do, they did very, very daring shots. They did them very well, much like yesterday's. Um, you know, they didn't, they didn't skimp on that. The quality of everything, the lighting, the costumes, the, uh, you know, the yeah, the attention location. To detail. Yeah. Very good there. attention to detail. Uh, um, sorry. Go ahead. ahead. No, it, it was just all, all, all around put like put together very well. I just think the, um, the, I wanted more out of the story. That's all. That's really my only negative on that, and it's that's a personal taste thing. I think. Mm-hmm. I uh, I like the uh the the sound design. Yes. In this a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, it really set the mood. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Very well. And, uh, it, it wasn't, uh, like, very, it wasn't, like, too standard, but it wasn't 
also wasn't weird at all. Right. Um. I, I just wanted to mention it because I like that. Yeah. About it. I don't know. Yeah, the sign, sound design I thought I thought was really good. Honestly, there's not one technical element I didn't like. And even the story, I did like it. I just, for whatever reason, I wanted more, more, just more. I don't know. I, I really can't really articulate that without... Um, yeah, it's kind of a shallow yeah. uh, story. It is, um, yeah. But I mean, it's not, I, I wouldn't even call it shallow, and I, I liked it less than you. I would just call it simple. It's just a very yeah, simple, Yeah, I might call it story. shallow. It just you stuff so? comes out of nowhere. Little because bit. there's like, here's the story. Yeah. Okay, it happened. Yeah. Okay, it's over. Yeah. Uh, so it's like shallow and simple and mm-hmm. uh, just kind of, kind of comes out of nowhere. But uh, yeah, it, it's six minutes. So like, what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah. I I think this was a very good six minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, it seems it seems very much like uh like a film that would be on like an anthology. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I I liked it a lot. Like maybe, maybe the only thing is, yeah, maybe a little bit more on the story or yeah. what exactly has happened. Like they kind of do it through dialogue, but yeah, it's not that much. Like it's not. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, there there was also a fair amount of symbolism in this, considering how how short it was. There were there were. At least two and possibly three things that 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 uh that I I picked up on well that uh, that could definitely be well two of them just straight up are are symbolism mm-hmm. in that in that movie and, and they it was good symbolism it was subtle it was well applied um I'm gonna actually just pause here for a minute and talk converse uh, uh, you know with spoilers off air but yeah overall. Symbolism, super good. Is there anything particularly that you want to talk about in regards to that? Or I mean, we, we kind of can't talk about it. Yeah, it's spoilers. Not, re- but... not really. It just it just helps the overall theme mm-hmm. of the movie. Uh, and that does add it adds a layer of complexity that like the story doesn't necessarily betray by itself. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, it it, hel- it helps it feel more full. Yeah, for sure. And I think that's what I'm like grasping onto of liking it. Yeah. Um, is just the little, the little, the little details, details the symbolism, uh-huh. um, mm-hmm. the whole thing that like ties together. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I like that. There's not a ton you could say about it. It's six minutes. Yeah. It's, it's just two people. They, they kind of have an exchange. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's shot well. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was floored by the, by the cin- cinematography and the camera work. Oh, there's cake, obviously. That's, that's the most impressive that's thing. That's why I like cake. it. Because yeah. it was cake. You say that, but every time I make a cake, you're like, I don't even want this cake. And then I eat an entire cake by myself. And I'm like, I made it so that we could share this cake. It's for me and my Sam friend. Um, yeah, is that right? Your cakes are... <sighs> Alright, that's it. I'm force feeding you so many cakes tomorrow. <laughs> it's happening. Um, I can only eat so much cake. Yay. I know it's true. I do always have cake at my house, so I do try to stuff him with cake. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, is it? I mean, I really can't emphasize how well like every every element of this movie was. Every technical aspect of this movie was. the The lighting was fantastic. The acting was very good. The uh, sets were were they were exactly what that set should have looked like. They you know. The cinematography, the costumes, like every element of that. It is such a professional looking film. Like if you told me that that was done by, um, I, I, I can't think of a, like a good, a good fit production company. But if you told me that that was done by a major production company that was funding a smaller, a smaller filmmaker, I would totally believe that. Um, it's one of the highest quality that I've seen. I'd say it's probably top 10 quality of the short films that I've seen. Um, it's just, it's just that personal taste thing with, with the story, which again, I, I, I know I keep bringing it up, but it's the only negative. It's actually not bad or anything. I just wanted more, um, in a way that didn't totally feel positive sometimes, but it's not totally negative either. So, um, was there anything else that you wanted to talk about? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, that's our review of Vanilla Cake from 2016. Oh, and you can find it on the 
uh, Crystal Pastis uh, uh, YouTube which channel. Which was the d- director. Which was the director, yeah. So uh, you can just search Vanilla Cake. It'll come up. It's got like 2 million views, so uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll come up. It's probably the first thing that comes up, so. Uh, so I guess we are going to do another movie. We're probably going to run through it really quickly, but don't worry. It's a bad movie, so it's not really much of a, it's not really much of a, a loss, I guess. Um, so uh, w- the one that we're going to talk about is Clinical from 2017. It's a, uh, Netflix original and it's easily the worst Netflix original I've ever seen. Um, mind you, it's still well made from a technical standpoint and the acting is pretty good, but probably over a half an hour of the film could have been cut out with no consequence to the story. And it has a very incredibly strong anti-therapy, anti-medication bias that's so outdated and backwards for a movie coming from a company like Netflix in the year 2017. I was looking forward to this one as it had, uh, Vanessa Shaw, who's, um, you might know her from Hocus Pocus, uh, or The Hills Have Eyes. Um, she was Allison in Hoc- Hocus Pocus, the, um, love interest. And this movie was almost a total letdown for me personally. Uh, ha- ha- what did you think about it, Sam? Uh, I barely remember the movie, and I know I've seen it. Yeah. But yeah, I see, there's Vanessa Shaw. barely remember it yeah. at all. And I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I remember sitting through it. Yeah. I think your brain probably just, like... It was like, this is irrelevant information. So. Turn out the white noise. Yeah, for sure. So in the movie, uh, a psychiatrist specializing in post-trauma support tries to recover from her own trauma after a violent attack by a patient. The doctor moves on with her practice by shifting into more traditional therapy, but when a man suffering after a disfiguring accident asks for help, she puts her own recovery at risk to try to help him. So this movie had such a strong start that the rest of the movie would have been a disappointment even if they had eased up on the backwards view of mental health treatment and cut out the monotonously repetitive scenes. The movie tries to lead you into thinking it's going to be a different type of movie than it is, and I would have greatly preferred that style over the one that we got. There are any number of ways in which the psychiatrists in the movie act utterly unprofessionally and unrealistically as well, And if that's the filmmaker's actual impression of how therapy and therapists work, it's no wonder that the movie seems so slanted. What did you think about that whole thing? Burn. (laughs) Burn. So what what did you think about that whole thing? Because that was really, I mean, that was my strongest feeling coming away is like, I can't believe Netflix would, you know, affiliate with something like this. And I can't believe that, uh, you know, that anybody would make this movie in 2017. Like, aren't we past that? Mental health health is a serious issue. Uh, I don't really remember it that well, um, uh-huh. so I don't know. Uh, okay. I don't know how I don't remember this movie. I remember yeah. watching it. Yeah, and we've talked about movies that I've seen way longer ago. We watched this in November, and yeah. Sam can't remember it. So, uh, that that's that's the sort of movie that you're thinking about. You know, that you should keep in mind here is that it's incredibly forgettable. The movie that I talked about, what other movie did we talk about yesterday? Do you remember? Talk about uh, Angel's Egg yesterday. Angel's Egg. Okay. Angel's Egg. That's amazing. And that's amazing. Angel's Egg, we watched way back down in. Like June, July? It was June, the beginning of June. Yeah, it was June 2nd is when we, we did that one. Sam remembers the crap out of that one. Uh, he has not watched it since then either, right? You mm-hmm. haven't watched it since we watched it? Yeah. You almost put it on the, the other night. It. Yeah. But has not seen it since. And uh, he can't remember this movie from like almost, mid- almost mid-November. almost mid So that that's that's how forgettable this movie is. Um, but yeah, I, I know just my recollection of you. I, I don't think you were quite as like heated about it, but you were definitely like, oh yeah, that's... That's not right. Like that 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 does seem weird. Like why would they make that movie? That's fucking weird. Yeah, it's it's weird. Mhm. Uh So, I really can't focus on any other aspect of this film until I get this off my chest. So, I might as well talk about how and why the movie is so biased. And Sam, this might actually help refresh your memory. For one thing, the psychologists never really help anyone. As stated in the synopsis, the person that attacks the lead is one of her patients, 
whom she has apparently failed to help, and the lead blames this on prescribing medication too readily, even though the patient's own word point to it actually being the advice that the lead had given her in treatment that had caused the situation. There are three psychologists in the movie, and every one of them has a pretty major failing. The lead is bored to have her new patients because they don't have the severity of problems that her former patients do. One of the others is an asshole who seems to have actual no care at all for his patients or profession whatsoever. And the last seems to be competent enough as a therapist, but fails to catch an important problem that his patient has. So, I mean, th that's, that's what you get out of this movie. Therapy is bad. Medication is bad and will cause somebody to attack you. Yeah. Violently. There's, there's not anything other than the the person uh the antagonist is is like mentally unstable. Yes. That's the movie. That's the movie. Yeah. And that's like such a bullshit like thing. Yeah. It really is. Because if if a therapist thought that a patient was that unstable mm -hmm. there's a ton of uh steps to go through that yes. exist yeah to help them in some way mm -hmm. especially when you're dealing with a a like therapy and stuff like that maybe yes. if it's untreated things then yeah sure yeah absolutely a ton of untreated people uh -huh do crazy things every day. Yeah, or people going off their medications yeah, without but this is the doctor's exact opposite approval. Of that. Yeah, exactly. It is. Uh so specifically in regards to the medication angle, there are patients eyeing their doctor's prescription pads and even stealing them, and people abusing medication in a couple of different ways. Don't get me wrong, overprescription is a serious problem in this country and should be addressed. But the movie's cavalier attitude and seeming assertion that seeking treatment will leave you worse off than you were before, possibly forced into some sort of drug-induced psychosis, suffering from false memories or a drug problem, is deeply flawed and plays into the continuing stigma towards mental illness. Yeah, well, well like, that's, that's dumb and mm -hmm. semi-irresponsible. Yeah. But more than anything else this movie was boring it was it was hard to get through i think we took a couple of breaks just trying to get through it which the, is worse for me. right right which exactly worse. yeah well and the movie also offers no alternative to treatment through therapy and or medication which is probably for the best since the most commonly cited alternatives simply don't work for people with severe mental illness and would probably have enraged me i think if they tried to make something up. Yeah, if they were like, just else. do yoga or like pray or just, just, just chill out. Just chill out. Like, have you thought about like not being anxious? Like, I mean, God. Why don't you just chill? Seriously. Like, if that if that were the, the thing, it's better that they stayed away from it. But instead, they're just like, no, all this shit is made up and it's bad. So, like, I know, like, you're sad or you see things or... Or whatever. But you know what? If you take medication and you go to therapy, it's going to be worse and you're going to be violent towards others. Which is funny because people with mental illness are so many times more likely. And I don't want to say a number because I don't remember the number off the top of my head. But is exponentially higher to be a victim of violence than to be a perpetrator of violence. This is a really common thing in movies and, and horror movies specifically. As a horror fan... It is really frustrating um, to be somebody who, you know, is a mental health advocate, you know, or like, I don't even know what you would call that, but somebody who who is really pro mental health, like dealing with your mo mental health, that so many of these people, it's just like, oh, it's all, it's all, you know, mental illness. Everybody's fucking crazy. And those are the only people who kill people. Unfortunately, that's not really the reality. And like I said, they're much more likely to be victims of violence than anything else. So... Anyway, the fact is that droves of people are helped immeasurably by proper therapy, and yes, sometimes that means medication might be necessary. As with medications for physical ailments, sometimes they're a risk, and sometimes doctors need to adjust things to get it right, and some medications aren't right for certain people, but that doesn't mean we get rid of it entirely when it works well for others. Implying that people with severe mental illness should just keep it buried and not try to work through it is reckless and backwards, 
and the methods the doctors use in the movie to try to help their patients work through their problems are simply not anything you would see in reality. Anyway, I'm sure you guys get the point. Putting aside that, there are plenty of other problems, uh, such as plot threads that are never seen through, plot holes, and logical flaws. Uh, for instance, why, like, what kind of psychiatrist is stupid enough to treat patients in her own home? I know I haven't mentioned that yet, but she, but when she's going into her practice of her boring, um, her boring patients, patients are, are therapists do. Uh, but why would you if you're trying to recover? Yes. From trauma. Yes. Do it. That's that. That I remember that being like, mm -hmm. it's so dumb. Yeah. If she's trying to recover from trauma. Yes. Inviting people into her house, even if they're supposed to be whatever patients. You know, like non-severe patients. Yeah. Why? Still, why would you do that? That has to... Having people in your house is definitely stressful. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just having friends over is yeah, stressful. Yeah, exactly. Like, think so, about people that you know have mental instability, even if it's slight mental instability. Yeah, new clients, mm -hmm. all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah. People you don't really know. And she also treats the, uh, she, she treats the very severe person out of her home, too. Mm -hmm. Um, so many, perhaps even most of the movie's scenes are redundant, and the important information is stretched very thin, taking place over several of these repetitive scenes. The sets are somewhat nice, but the, there's a very monochromatic look that, uh, it just sort of adds to the feeling of monotony in this. If Maybe if there was more color, or they used, you know, different camera angles in, in certain places, that would have helped, but it really didn't. What did you think about the visuals? It was it was not great. It wasn't mm -hmm. good. Um, yeah, there. Uh, it it was just so bland, which which could yeah. have helped the movie be like subtle, and then until something happened. Yeah, but this movie is just so boring, so dumb. It's it's a waste yeah. of time. Like it there's is barely it's even anything to talk about. Yeah, like, there really is. Like I'm I'm searching for things to talk about, and I just don't. Well, what did you think about the acting? Um, I think the acting was fine. Yeah. Um, Even good in a couple of places, a couple yeah. of cases. Uh, but nothing special, nothing mm -mm. that would save the movie, that's for sure. No. No, not at all. Um, so, it, it, there is a slight bit of mood building that they try for, but it really didn't go far enough, in my opinion. Um, what Did you think there was any mood or tone to this, or... Do you have any memory? You don't. No, so it's just probably boring. not. Then, yeah, it was. The last scene is also annoyingly vague and can be interpreted in a couple of different ways. The rest of the third act was somewhat entertaining, um, even if it didn't live up to the promise of that first scene. That first scene is really, really good. In fact, if you have Netflix and you're a horror fan, I say watch the first scene. You'll know when I'm talking about like that. It's over. You'll see where it is because it's sort of like a prologue. And then mm -hmm. you, if you want, if you watch just that first scene, it's actually worth watching, but, but don't watch it if you think it's going to make you want to watch the rest of the movie. Cause that's a waste of time. Uh, uh th there are, um, there, there are some, you know, fairly shocking visuals that were, that were fairly successful. Um, that's really kind of the last thing I have to say about this is that, that again, it, it it's definitely not enough. For this movie, but they they do exist. They're you know, they're not they're not awful. What did you what did you think about those particularly the shocking the more shocking images and and stuff? Uh, they they're fine. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just not enough to save this movie in any no. way. Yeah. Uh. Well, and they stand out in a really stark contrast, just because everything else is like white, off white. Yeah. You know, like, um. So that, on that level, I guess that works well, but it's not worth watching, you know, what was it, an hour and 45 minutes or something? Uh, too long. Well, too well. long. It was, it felt long. It felt very, very long. Um, I was, a, I was, a, I was overly disappointed in this movie probably because I really like, uh, I really like Vanessa Shaw and I haven't seen her in, in anything in a while. Last thing I may have seen her in was uh, The Hills Have Eyes. Um, I thought she was really good in that. And honestly, I thought she was good in this. It's just she has her character's shit. Yeah, you know? for sure. She was in Eyes Wide Shut. 
Oh, that's so right. She was in Eyes Wide Shut. That was before. The last movie I saw. Yeah. I watched, literally watched. Oh, yeah. Oh, and The Hills Have Eyes, obviously, she was in the, the remake. The remake. The remake series. Uh, the original. She the also was one. in Corky Romano. Corky Romano, that's right. So, I forgot about Corky Romano. Yeah, she's she, that other that other FBI agent, right? She's kind of a big deal. She's kind of a big deal. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. She also was in Ladybugs. Ladybugs. Yeah, I don't that might have been the last. No, I watch Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah, was she the love interest? I watch her? Eyes Wide Shut and Ladybugs almost every weekend. So <laughs> oh it's hard for me to. <laughs> yeah, uh, was she was she the uh, the love interest in in uh, in Ladybugs? Yes, she was she was okay? Yeah, and there's this Kevin, Kevin Rom. Yeah, Kevin Rom. Uh, he's been in a lot of stuff. Uh huh. Oh, a bunch of TV shows. I don't remember who he is in this movie. If but... he got second billing, billing, I'm assu- I didn't check who you clicked on, but if he got second billing, he's probably the patient who needs no. our help. No, I don't think so. Let me see. Maybe yes. I think that's him. I'm not positive. Oh yeah, yeah, that that's like him. He is. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know. I I know his face, but I don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he's very familiar. He's been in a lot of TV shows and stuff. I don't know. Is there is there anybody else? There's her. About? Oh yeah, no, she was good. Yeah, India Isley. India Isley was in this. She was good. Um, she's been in a few things, not really a ton. Yeah, she's the she's uh she, she's yeah she was one of the one of the best parts of that movie. I thought like that particular India whatever. Uh, I just looked on her IMDb, mm-hmm. and apparently she she was in the live action uh, uh, kite. Kite. Uh huh. It it it's an anime from like ninety three. Which anime? Uh, that's all. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know this movie existed till now, I know and the I title. don't actually want to like watch this movie. But I do remember Kite, the anime, being so fucking weird. <laughs> and, uh... So the live action has got to be weird. Got to be terrible, yeah. Oh, yeah, huh? That it looks her. terrible. Yeah, it does. It does look terrible. Doesn't mean it is, but it looks terrible. Uh, the anime is not great, but... <laughs> but it is an anime, and it is from the 90s, so I know about it. Oh, of course. All right, well, I think we're going to call that it. Don't watch this movie. Is there anybody that you would recommend it for? No, there is not. I would recommend the first scene to anybody curious. I it. No? You don't like that scene? Like the first bit? I think it's good. Oh, uh, yeah, that does look familiar. Sam pulled up the anime. That does look familiar. I think it's half pornography. Is it half pornography? I think so. Huh. Uh, certain cuts. Certain cuts? Uh Samuel got that real ass cut, huh? Yeah, that real cut. Let me see that real cut. Mm-hmm. That raw cut. All right. Well, uh, that that was our review of Clinical from 2017, and that's our show. I apologize for the lack of energy, but it's late, and I hated that movie, so that didn't make me feel any more energetic. Um, if you enjoyed this show, regardless. Then, then uh, <laughs> please share it with somebody uh, that you love. We're apologizing for shows now. Oh, but you, I apologize for every episode you're not on. Oh, you don't. You I haven't even that. been here. You haven't even been here in the trenches. I kill with me. it too much on the other ones. You kill it this too is much. Our, hey, what are we almost on fifty shows? We had to have had almost I had to have a hmm. shitty one, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I know things aren't even making stuff anymore. Sure. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, if if you did like this podcast, please share it with someone you you love. Maybe not this episode because we're boring asses today. Um, <laughs> our sense making is low. Our sense making is right. very very low. Yeah. it's almost bottom tier. Um. So yeah. Uh. You can you can send them. Um. If you, if they don't have the same platform as you, then. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. If you didn't like the platform that you found us on, or you want to share it with someone who has a different platform, we are on YouTube, Player FM, 
Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, and pretty much any podcatcher out there. Um, if you'd like to reach out to us on social media, we are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I finished it, and that's all I, the things that I say at the end. Samuel, what is your rating for clinical? Clinical is zero. Out of zero. Yeah, I give this a total. Cl- I give clinics. this <laughs> clinics. I give this zero milligrams. Zero milligrams. This, is that your is that your prescription? That is my prescription for this movie. Zero nice. milligrams. That Actually, my good. it should be the opposite. Nah. No. Yeah, it needs to take a lot of. prescriptions. It needs to take a lot of prescriptions. You need fucking help, seriously. Yeah, but I give it. Help. I give it a hundred. No, I give it two hundred and fifty milligrams of fuck you. Burn. 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 What about a cake? Vanilla cake. Vanilla cake. Vanilla cake gets one chocolate cake. Oh. <laughs> I gave. Oh. I gave him the chocolate cake. Have you watched it? That's actually kind of sad. It's <laughs> one chocolate cake. Samuel, what's yours for it? I can't beat that. You can't, good. <laughs> you can't beat that. All right. All right. 250 milligrams of fuck you. Recluse out. <laughs>